Hello YouTube, it's Amy and it is snowing. Yay! I got really excited this morning because I woke up and uh, Les Mis was playing. Good morning. Because my alarm clock is my iPod. Yeah, so that was a good start to the morning. And then I opened the curtains like this. And what greeted me? That, that greeted me. And I was so excited and I was so happy. And I was like, it's snowing. And then I thought about the roads. And I was like, okay, okay. Lightly dusted roads, kind of looked like someone had gone a bit OTT on the icing sugar, but it's all good. So this is a little video that I made when I was in the office and I got really excited because it started snowing a bit heavier. So, yeah. It's snowing. It's snowing. It's so pretty. So yeah, I got really excited about that and then uh, it was really cold and I was like, okay, it's really cold. I'm not very good with the cold, okay? I get, I get very cold. There's no other way to put that. I just, I just get very cold very easily. And I was wearing layers. This is more layers than it looks like. I was wearing a coat and I was wearing a jumper and I was wearing gloves and everything. I was wearing fingerless gloves, which wasn't a good idea because when I took them off, I literally had like a line um, and this, this part of my hand was normal and this part looked like a lobster. And then the seed cleaners came. Now, for those of you that don't know, I work um, for a, a rapeseed oil company. So when you first get the rapeseed in from the farm, bit of a bit of a lesson here, it's got this thing called um, cracked seeds in it and you don't want that really in, in your rapeseed oil. You don't, you don't want it clogging up your filters. So you have to clean the seeds, try and get rid of as much of that, that mess and all, like random twigs, you never know. You never know what's in it. Um, and so it's this, this machine that comes along and you, you pour the, you'll see it in a minute, I'll show you a little video that I made. Um, the seed comes in one side and it's pouring out like thousands and that no more than that millions of seeds are just like pouring out of this machine and this whole like massive tray thingy is shaking like like absolutely mental and it's blowing air up through through the um the rapeseed and it makes it feel like water it's really cool had a bit of a play with that and um it basically it's at a slight angle so it pushes all of the, the rope seed to one side and all of the, the bits that you don't want to the other side and um, that goes off into two separate separate containers and then obviously your, your seed's clean and it's it's good, it's all good, it's all good. So yeah, I was standing on this, this lorry machine contraption thing um, to have a look at it because I'd never seen it before and um, it was really interesting and um, Brendan, uh, my boss, wanted me to see it. And he went off to do some of the lugging around of, of the massive bags of rapeseed and things like that. Um, and I was standing on this machine. Now you'll see in the video, it shakes a lot. In fact, I'm gonna show you the video now. machine and it's shaking like crazy I'm standing here for quite a while you you, you see how in the video it, it 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 looks like it's doing this it looks like it's doing this yeah I was doing that too I was I was I w it felt like you're kind of sitting on a jackhammer and you just you just you just uh, but it was really cool and I finally got to see how it all worked and everything and I was I, I couldn't I could not con like I could not work out how the seed comes in because I've I seen the finished seed and I'd seen like what it looked like after all of that but yeah it's, it's quite clean when it comes in I'm, I'm surprised at how clean it is considering that it's a crop it like comes in from the field and everything I'm surprised it doesn't have all sorts in it but it's actually quite clean but seeing it 
how it is before and after this whole this whole cleaning process. It's really interesting. It's like, oh, I'm such a geek. Oh, uh -huh, uh -huh. So that was really fun. And then around two o'clock, it really started to snow. Now here in England, we're not we're not used to snow. So snow is exciting. Snow is very we get very childish about snow. And also we overreact a lot. I don't know if you can I don't know if you can call it overreacting when we're not prepared for it. Because it doesn't happen that often. When it does happen, just the whole the whole country just completely shuts down. Like there's amber warnings and and they're telling people to stay off the roads and not go out. It's kind of like it's like some massive threat. Literally, I was watching the news and they said, "Everyone, stay off the road. There's three inches of snow." Now, com compared to some countries, <sighs> yeah, but you know, we 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 react to snow differently to say Alaska wonder why so when it does we just we just we just all fall apart we don't know what to do schools are closed shops closed people can't go anywhere admittedly the roads were ridiculously icy so like i was coming up the drive out out of work and i was like okay i'll leave myself some more time to break you know as you do go easy on the clutch like steve told me to and you know just slowly Coming up to it, giving myself plenty of time, suddenly my car starts sliding a little bit and I'm like, okay, okay, just just ease up on the just ease up on the clutch and like brake like intermittently, just like not not too harshly. Nope, still sliding, just yeah, going towards the main road. <laughs> but it was all fine. It was all it was all absolutely fine. And and yeah, I'm here. I made it, I'm alive, yay! So that was the exciting things that happened to me today. go play outside but because I don't like the cold even though it's like the perfect snow for like snowballs and making stuff oh I can make a snowman I didn't even think about that I was only thinking about snowball fights I don't know who I'd have a snowball fight with but that's all I could think about yeah even though it's the perfect snow for like doing things like that it's cold and I don't I don't like being cold so I'm gonna stay inside and just look at it from the window it sounds very posh but I'm, I'm not posh it's just um, they converted an old um, house, like school thing, um, into loads of flats, and so that's why I have like nice windows and like these things, and yeah, it's all pretty and stuff. But it, it means that I have no double glazing, and and it's really cold. They put all the, they put all the radiators underneath windows. I don't understand people's logic. Like literally, I can see, I can see the heat just rising out of the, rising out of the radiator and just, go, and just going straight outside. So yeah, I'm gonna put my dressing gown on soon. I thought I'd do it now, just get out of the way. So yeah, even though it's cold outside and it's cold in here, it's warmer in here. And you know, I, I'm 20 now, I've seen quite a lot of snow. Now it's just, it's just a bit of an inconvenient, no, no, I love snow, I really do. I just wish it was a bit warmer, but you can't really get both, so, yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go look out the window. I've got a nice pie in the oven, so I'm gonna have a bit of that. Probably watch some YouTube videos, because I like YouTube videos. Maybe some TV, I haven't seen TV in a while. Yeah, sounds good. Well, until next time, bye. So pretty. See, this is this is the snow outside. Sorry, it's so dark. It is nighttime after all. This is the snow that we overreact about quite a lot. Yep. Bye. <laughs>